All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn, and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by helping them to implement simple tips and proven strategies. So now, these seven tips that are bringing negative energy into your relationship, let's talk about it right now. The very first thing I'm hoping that most of you guys, especially if you have been watching my channel for any period of time, that you know that this one is a no-no. Actually, all of these are a no-no, but this one really is a no-no. Number one, name calling. Mm -mm. That leads to nothing good. The connection breaks down. You feel like crap. <laughs> you feel like, why does this person treat me in such a way? You don't feel good when somebody calls you a name and you're also not listening and then you go into defensive mode as well. All of that negative energy bringing into your relationship does not help the relationship, does not help the connection, does not make you feel special. It does not make you feel happy to be in this relationship at all. If you are name calling you need to get rid of that thing because you are bringing the negative energy into your relationship, but you have no idea when they retaliate and actually name call back, be super disrespectful. This one, I'm definitely not condoning, which is to put their hands on you or you put your hands on them. No, but you get my drift. Name calling is a definite no-no. It leads down the path of unrighteousness okay the second thing that brings and creates negative energy in your relationship is blaming yes blaming any and everybody for everything that is happening and you're not taking responsibility for the things that you do not saying that you're perfect not saying that your partner is perfect but if you're always blaming everybody for every situation what have you done trust me you've done something what did you do to cause X, Y, and Z to be broken down and not happen the way that it should have happened? What could you have done better to make sure that things were smooth sailing so you don't have to blame anybody? There's a way around everything. But if you're consistently blaming, you, my brother, you, my sister, are bringing the negative energy into your relationship. The third thing that brings negative energy into your relationship is constant arguing, constant fighting. Now, whether you fighting good, as in no name calling, you know, you're not hitting and all that other stuff, or you fighting bad. Doesn't matter. And I actually think I said those two backwards, but you get my drift. Constantly fighting and arguing is definitely going to bring the negative energy into your relationship because who wants to constantly fight and argue it's draining i don't feel happy when i'm around you i'm actually mad i'm actually pissed when i hear your key turn the door i'm even mad er <laughs> when the door shuts and closes behind you and you're here with me now because i know an argument is going to come because there's something, there's absolutely something that is going to be said, whether it's going to be said wrong, whether it's going to be said right. I'm going to be irritated. All that is negative energy. That takes away and tears down the relationship. Number four, you think everybody is against you. Not only me, everybody. Not everybody. Everybody is against you. Everybody is against you. Why? Why do you think everybody is against you? And most of all, me. I'm supposed to be your teammate. <laughs> I'm supposed to be your safety zone. I'm supposed to be the person that you come and talk to about any and everything. So if you think the world is against you and I am part of the world, we got a problem, bro. We got a problem, sis. Everybody ain't against you. That's you and your own insecurities that's coming out. 
but it's negative energy that you are bringing into our relationship and you wonder why our relationship is not going so well. All of this negativity surround everything about the whole situation is just daunting, draining, devastating. Tighten it up. The fifth thing. You turn into a super duper pooper scooper. Yep, that's what I said. You turn into a five-year-old and you start throwing temper tantrums because you cannot get your way. Nope, I don't want to do X, Y, and Z, but you want to do X, Y, and Z. And because I don't want to do X, Y, and Z, eh, you either wide or literally you throw a temper tantrum. Maybe you start slamming doors. Maybe you do start the name call. Because things are not going your way, you turn into a little, little child. Yes, I said a five-year-old. You turn into a five-year-old because you got to get your way. Everything has to go your way or that day is going to be a horrible day for your partner, for your spouse. That ain't the way things work. The, the, the moon, the sun does not rise and shine on your butt all day and everybody else need to fall in line. That's not the way it happens, sis. Not the way it happens, bruh. Temper tantrums are not sexy. And when you're throwing a temper tantrum, nobody wants to help you anyway. When my daughter tries it, I tell her, look, get up. Now, you as a grown person can't tell you get up. I mean, I can, but you you just go, you're going to push in your heels even harder. Like a horse. They try to pull a horse and that horse won't move. That's you. Temper tantrum. Temper tantrums are not sexy. They are not in the household and definitely not in public. Get it together. Number six, that sixth thing that you are doing to create. <laughs> Number six, the sixth thing that you are doing that is creating negative energy is you are constantly complaining. You complain about it. When I say everything, everything. You complain about everything. Doesn't matter what that thing is. I supposed to cook food for you. The food too salty. I, although I get that one, but food too salty. I supposed to wash the laundry for you. I didn't fold the laundry right. I supposed to go wash your car for you. The car you missed a speck of dirt. I was supposed to be home at X, Y, and Z time, but twenty minutes went by and I wasn't home at X, Y, and Z time. I came home twenty minutes later. You complaining about that? I didn't tell you that I changed my plans. You complaining about that. You just complain about everything. Everything. And it's annoying. And I'm probably not telling you about things because I don't want to hear you complaining. Who would have imagined? <laughs> you want me to tell you about stuff so you can stop complaining, but guess what? I'm not telling you about stuff because I know you're about to complain. I'm not going to win negativity all around the seventh and final way that you could be bringing negative energy into your relationship is to constantly nag 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 about any and everything you ask your spouse your partner to pick up x y and z they didn't do it in your time frame you ask as you ask your partner to fix x y and z they didn't do it in your time frame. You ask them to pick up X, Y, and Z, but they forgot. And you nag, 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 nag. And all seven of these things are bringing all of this negative energy into your relationship. And you're wondering why your spouse don't really want to talk to you. They don't really want to have sex with you. They don't really want to touch you and definitely don't want you touching them. All of these things go together. See, we try to compartmentalize these things, right? And we try to say, okay, if I if I don't do this thing, but I do this thing over here, I can still have sex with her or I can still have sex with him. Or if I do this thing, but I know he really wants me to do that thing, I can still get away with it. Mm -mm. Our entire relationship, our entire life is not compartmentalized it's all together it's all mixed up and so all of this negativity that you bring into the relationship you wonder why it's not running as smooth as it could be 
we really have to look in the mirror and check ourselves and not always think it is our partner. Lots of times is us. Yes, yeah, swallow that pill. Lots of times is us and not the other person. And so if we could tighten up on our stuff and the other person could tighten up on their stuff, us together, we good. We tight. We tight and right. But if we're not tight on our stuff and our partner not tight on their stuff, how could we have a healthy, happy, romantic relationship? How could we? We can't. So now I ask you, what you going to do? You going to continue to be this negative person and bring in this negative energy? Or are you going to do something about it? Not tomorrow, today. What's the one thing you could do today to take the negative energy out of your relationship? Could you stop nagging? Could you stop complaining? What's the one thing you can do? I gave you seven things that you're probably doing. And maybe you're not doing all of them. But tighten up on the ones that you are doing. What's the one thing you can do today to take away the negative energy in your relationship? Let me know down in the comment section below. You know I want to hear about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.